guys, uh, welcome to a very different start, I guess. You know, I'm just gonna say at the beginning of the video that I'm stooping to a new low. Uh, if you guys wanna watch my full reaction, uh, link will be in the description via Google Drive, because, you know, obviously, you know, gotta avoid copyright with this, because I've been getting claims, you know, a lot. I've been getting a lot of claims for reacting, so that's mainly why I've been doing Slime Watch videos on this. But, you know, since I want to stoop to a new low, you know, link in the description, you know, Google Drive link, obviously. But yeah, anyways, so I watched Hell of a Boss, The Harvest Moon Festival, Season 1, Episode 5. Now, for those who don't know, so I watched is basically a series on my channel where if I don't have a good reaction and I have something to comment on, then I won't upload that reaction. Now, obviously, the only reason why I'm doing it for this video is because, you know, Copyright. But I also say that my reaction wasn't really that great. I was honestly stone faced to a lot of things, but I definitely did have stuff to comment on, and I'll definitely talk about that in this video. Personally, I think this episode was just okay. I don't think it was great, but then again, I don't think this was also bad. There are a few positives, for example, I thought the jokes are funny, and the animation actually looks really good. Like, honestly, these fight scenes actually look really good. The negative side is definitely the plot and the characters they introduce. I'll start with talking about the characters, mainly because it's very brief, and I only have a few things to say on it. Millie's parents are okay characters. They're just the classic, like, parental characters that obviously, you know, aren't fond of the more intellectual type of guy that Moxie is, which I will obviously get to later on when I talk about the plot. And the other new character they introduce is, I think his name is Strider or Sniper. I really don't know. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people say, like, this is probably the greatest villain so far or something like that, that this character is awesome. I don't think he is. Now, I do understand why some people would think he's cool. He can be intimidating at times, and I could see people thinking his motivations make sense. Personally, I just don't think so. I'll elaborate more when I talk about the plot. But I feel like the way that this episode deals with him just doesn't really sit right, because they announce him at one point as like this big twist villain. But it's not really shocker, because the dude is literally a jerk the entire time, and you can tell he's a bad guy. Like, I get it's probably shocking for the characters, because the other characters except Moxie think he's a good guy, but it's not shocking for the audience. We side with Moxie in this episode, so why would they reveal him as sort of a twist villain when we knew he was bad? Now, I'm kind of delving into the plot a little bit here, so why don't we talk about the plot? Personally, I'm not a fan of those type of plots where a character has to prove himself to somebody or prove better than somebody else because it's been overdone so many times in everything. Honestly, everything. And the episode doesn't really do anything nuanced with it either. It's not like Strider's actually a good guy and Moxie's just being jealous and then he has to learn to, you know, not be jealous or not worry about Strider. But no, Strider's actually a bad guy, so Moxie's actually right in this case. And speaking of Strider, I'd like to talk about his plan that I really don't get. So his plan involves a gun that has the ability to kill royal demons, and he's basically trying to assassinate the royal bird dude. I don't actually remember his name, sorry. But yeah, his plan is basically to kill the royal bird dude. But the biggest problem that I see there is that it hasn't been established in any other episode that there's a difference between royal demons and normal demons. Like physically, obviously financially, and it's shown, but not really physically. So for me, that's where his plan kind of falls apart. If it was established that there's a physical difference between royalty and normal demons, then I would side with it, but it hasn't really been established yet. So personally, I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I do understand why people would see his motivations as good. But yeah, that's really my only problems with this episode. I really don't have any other things to say. So overall, if I had to rate this one, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. It's kinda bad, but again, there's some parts that I liked about it. But anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on this episode? Leave that down in the comments down below. And if you want to watch my full reaction, that link will also be down in the description via Google Drive. So, of course, there's that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!